What's up guys, it's Meg. Welcome back to Meg After Dark. Today I'm talking about the latest Fear of the Walking Dead episode. Um, it's season four, episode four, called Buried. What did you guys think of that episode? I absolutely loved it. Um, the storytelling was amazing. We got a big reveal at the end that Naomi is actually the Laura that John is looking for. So that's pretty exciting. Next week's episode looks to be all about John uh, and Naomi, or John and Laura. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about next week's episode as well. Um, I really like John. I kind of like, I just like the new characters, I think. Like there's nothing I particularly love about Naomi, except that she's interesting. <laughs> um, but I do really like John. He's just funny and like that weird, awkward, like, not weird, awkward, like sweet, awkward <laughs> way where you just want to like hug him. <laughs> um, okay. So. I wanna, I, I have notes from the episode, but they're not organized, so I apologize. Um, I loved the way, I'm just trying to find where this started. Um, okay. I just, I loved the way the storytelling went here. So, we knew that Althea's camera was gonna kind of tell a bigger story of what happened in the past. Um, we were kind of let on to this in the, I think it was episode two, when we got the before and now, where they were kind of saying like, they're basically showing us there's two different timelines um, in these episodes. And so that, that theme has kind of continued a bit here. And so this episode was very big on past and then the current, what, what was happening in the current. So Althea interviews um, Alicia, uh, Strand, and Luciana. Um, I love this because there were, in the past, there were also like three, four different storylines going on. So we had um, uh, Strand and Cole going to like the nursery. Basically Madison's plan is to um, go to like weird places to look for food because clearly the vultures have already gone to all of the like typical places you would look for food. Um, so Madison's getting creative. I like it. <laughs> um, but things are getting rough. You can see back at the diamond. They're eating cattle feed. They're, you know, they're not doing very well. They don't have very much food left. Um, they were really relying on the crops and when those died, they're just like, they were relying on being able to go out and scavenge and they can't do that because the vultures are literally taking everything. Um, so uh, we see them kind of all split off into little groups and go out to these places searching for stuff. So um, let's talk for a second about Strand and, uh, and is his name Cole? I think his name's Cole, right? Forgive me if I'm saying that and his name is not actually Cole. <laughs> um, we've been wanting them to go out on a run together because Strand has clearly been avoiding it. Um, we know that there's been like a little flirtation there, um, but Strand has, and it was very obvious even before this episode, but this episode just confirmed it, that he didn't want to go out with Cole because he didn't want Cole to find out kind of who he really is. Um, he obviously likes Cole. Cole is obviously interested in him as well. And um, there was a conversation that took place kind of after all of this. So they go and to the nursery and they find some stuff. Then they're kind of attacked by walkers, which I thought those walkers were really cool because um, of all of the, the, what are the, <laughs> like the thorns from the cactus, the cactus spines, whatever. I don't know what they're called, but um, all in like the walker's face. And then the walker that landed on top of Cole got them all in his shoulder and stuff. And those were like huge too. So um, I kind of liked that moment, but um, I want to see if I can find my note here. Um, oh, I wrote, Strand admits to Cole that the reason they haven't gone on a run together is because he's done things that he doesn't want him to know about um, because he likes him too, pretty much. Um, and also, he has a piece of what, what I believe is the dam. It just looks like a rock and he shows Cole and, and he uses that as a memory to like not be that same person that he was. Um, and you know, that's why they haven't gone out on a run together. Um, then when Strand shows Cole um, the car packed with goods, enough supplies for two people, because clearly Strand is like kind of hoping, I think, that Cole would be on board with it. So clearly like, I it, I find it so weird because Strand is like, he's using this as a memory, the, this, this piece of cement from the dam, at least that's what I'm assuming it is. Um, 
as a memory to not be that same person and yet here he is like <laughs> towards the end of the episode showing Cole that he is still that same person pretty much I mean he's just always looking out for himself and I found that you know I think in that atmosphere everybody is in survival mode and they're always kind of trying to think of a, of a getaway plan kind of you know if things go south what am I gonna do I need to have supplies so like I get that but the fact that people are literally about to start starving um, at the diamond and Strand has food there you know <laughs> that clearly Cole is upset about it as well and he he's you know Strand says this could feed two people for a month and he's like yeah but this could feed people at the diamond and Strand says for a day however whatever the conversation says and it's like yeah but that day could be what makes or breaks them kind of and I thought that's that's kind of the kind of person you need to be I feel like um to survive it like you have to have people with you because if you're constantly like only looking out for yourself I just feel like you're gonna be pretty miserable and then someday you're gonna need help and there's gonna be nobody there to help you and I worry about that for Strand a lot um, but by the end of the episode he did do what I feel like is the right thing and he did bring that food back to the diamond so thank God he actually made a good choice at least I feel like it was a good choice um, because I was gonna be really disappointed in him if he didn't uh, he doesn't tell Madison though what he was doing he just acts like he found it which I mean I'm not that mad about it. it's fine that he didn't tell her I'm just glad that he did the right thing um, then we also have so I'm saving the best one for last um, we also have Nick and Luciana who go out and they are I don't know what would, what their original plan was where to go but they um, are they end up at a library and Nick is he doesn't admit it at first but Nick is looking for like books because he had to remember if we remember in the first or in the second episode um, he asked Lucy to go out and look for books for um, Charlie the little girl um, now Charlie of course we've discovered she's a spy she's over on the other side now with the vultures um, but Nick had a connection to her I think and he really felt for her and he really like he desperately wanted her to you know come back with them and like have an actual good life where she wasn't being used um, so he was like trying to uh, find some books for her and stuff um, but the bigger part of that is that Luciana is also trying to leave and think of her getaway plan um, and she's worried that the diamond is gonna fail and she wants to get out with Nick um, she's always I feel like that girl is always on the run <laughs> she's like literally always trying to leave wherever she's at like preemptively before things even go south she's just like nope <laughs> I've had it get out um, so she comes up with a plan to kind of open a book of maps and flip to a page and pick a place and that's where we're gonna go um, ultimately that brings Nick back to the diamond to Madison with a new plan which I think is just was really smart um, which was to go farther out farther than they've been before to get seeds um, to replant their farm so not necessarily like scavenging but scavenging for like farming stuff ways to like restart their crops inside so they don't have to keep scavenging um, which I thought was a great idea we don't actually know like if they went to do that or not before things went south there's still a lot of unanswered questions at the diamond and in what happened to bring Alicia Nick Luciana Strand you know to where to the present time to where they are now um, but I love that idea with Nick and I'm interested to see like if that played out if you know if they tried to do that and some other shit went down like I'm excited to keep learning about this however I don't think we're gonna learn that much about it next episode because I think it's mainly gonna be about John's story and Naomi's story um, but hopefully we'll get a little bit there maybe <laughs> I don't know I just don't think so I think it's pretty much John's gonna be interviewing probably with Althea again and then we're gonna get a lot of that backstory there um, now to my personal favorite part of the episode was Alicia and Naomi at the amusement park at the water park so so good these scenes <laughs> so good the the walker slide what I like to call it was absolutely terrifying so these people built their their little fort thing <laughs> survival bunker at the top of one of the big you know one of those big water slides now I'm not a water slide person in general like at all um, and I just like 
I it was so good because I'm not a water slide person like I don't like that kind of stuff it like was even more terrifying watching it <laughs> just thinking like oh my god this is literally the worst um so they go up there and in theory it's a great idea to have your like safe like place up there because the slides are so slippery and the walkers like don't have that kind of coordination to climb up it they're just like they don't have that you can't do that when you're dead and a walker um so in theory it's a great idea but somehow they died up there i don't know if they starved to death like they couldn't get down or somebody got hurt whatever i don't even know um or they killed them i i don't even think we really got to get a good look at them to see if like they had been I don't know how they died. I wasn't really paying attention because they were pushing both uh, Naomi and and Alicia down the slide into one of those like crazy like big circles, and they're just there's just walkers like coming out. I don't even know what kind of slide that is. Do you just like when you go down that and it's like this big circle, and there must be water coming up in the middle where those walkers were, but like where do you go out of? That was so odd. I don't know. Um, like if it was a regular slide where after you're in here where do you is there a different chute that like goes down anyways um absolutely terrifying such good scenes with them like and and the fact that it was so slippery and slimy and ugh, so good and um, we also got to see where alicia had kind of got that new weapon she's been carrying um which was from that uh that gun that was up at the top there um, love those scenes. We do see that Naomi is trying to run. She pulls this really weird thing that they, they, they've survived the walker slide. They get back up there. They find medical supplies and she's like, just ditches Alicia. Like she's out of there. And I just thought that was so weird, but I guess, you know, once again, she's, um, she's, she wants to get away so there's a theme here with each of our groups. One of the people in the group, um, is looking to kind of get away from the diamond like and is thinking like this is not gonna work and then the other person is still trying to make it work so I really like that theme there um she tries to leave it doesn't work there's no gas in the car she ends up going back with Alicia um and rather than so there was you know she wanted to tell Madison that or she wanted Alicia to tell Madison that it wasn't gonna work there, that that place was gonna fail at the diamond. But instead, instead of doing that, she, um, they set up an infirmary, okay? So at the end of this episode, I think that's, that's what we're leaning up to here. At the end of this episode, um, everybody, okay, okay, here we go. I'm just, I'm just double checking my notes real fast. So as we kind of flash back to the present, so throughout this episode, they're kind of flashing back to the present and you see um, uh, Alicia, Strand, Luciana kind of saying different things. They're basically narrating their own story and that we're seeing on the screen. And there is a theme at the very end that they all regret their choices in that moment there, right? So Strand's choice was to bring his stash back to um, the diamond, which he says that he regrets, like I shouldn't have done that. Um, or he should have left, I can't remember exactly what he says. Um, Alicia's choice to not talk her mom into leaving, that's something she says she regrets there, that she's like, she should have told her mom to leave like she should have done that which again they're they're really hinting at Madison being dead and honestly like I think I think that they want us to think this because the characters think that she's dead honestly like 100% I think that they are convinced that both Naomi and Madison are dead and I and I think that at some point probably they will say that Madison's dead uh, but I don't think that she's actually dead you know I think in their minds probably something happened where it looked like they were either overwhelmed with walkers maybe something crashed down on top like you just don't know like something that would have made these guys think that they're dead and and now they want revenge which is their main goal here which i'll talk about in a second um and luciana says um she should have flipped to a different page which i thought luciana's commentary was so interesting um too because she she sounded way more cryptic than everybody else did she's like i should and there was another what if didn't she say like i should have never opened that book 
to begin with. And then at one point she said I should have flipped to a different page. So, which makes me think if you should have flipped to a different page, that means that they were still, something else happened there. You know, like maybe they went somewhere and then that led the vultures, like I don't know. There's something there. Um, which I just, I hope they don't keep making us wait so damn long um, to find out more. But uh, then, oh, and I just, that, that storytelling, that's what I wanted to touch on too, is the storytelling right then where they're, they're flashing to each, each character, Alicia, Strand, and Lucy, and they're all like, I shouldn't have flipped that page. I should have talked to my mom. I should have, oh my gosh, my dog's barking. I'm sorry. Hey, stop it. <sighs> now they're all going to bark. <laughs> Anyways, the, the, oh my God. I'm losing my train of thought because they won't stop barking. Somebody's standing outside here talking to somebody else and my dogs can hear it and they do not like intruders or strangers. Um, anyways, I guess I'm just trying to say that the film making part of that, the scenes, the way it was shot were just really great. I loved it, it was intense and you really felt their anger and grief and rage inside of them. Like you just felt that. The characters, I mean they did such a good job. The actors did such a good job on their characters. Um, okay, so then we flash to present day. The group was apparently they misled Althea. They were, um, they she thought that they were gonna bury Nick and they started digging in the ground and they actually pulled out this huge weapons cache that they had buried, which is really cool. Um, and I feel like they must have done that before the diamond failed just to make sure that they had stuff So suddenly Althea realizes that that's not what they were doing and I loved it I loved her like bullshit sandwich <laughs> and Strand saying give it a sniff Oh my gosh, it was so funny because it was such a serious moment before and then <laughs> there was just like it's still serious But there was some comic relief there, which I really appreciated um, but the thing that got me the most there, and I even wrote it down here, I said they aren't even thinking about burying Nick. Morgan has to ask and suggest a better place. He's like, you are gonna bury your brother, right? You're not just gonna leave him on the side of the road? And it's like, you guys are so determined to get your revenge. Like, I'm just, something outrageously horrible must have happened. And I think that What's so horrible is that they think that their mom died. They Madison died. They think that Cole is dead They think that Naomi's dead like I honestly think that they believe that um, I don't think they would have said that if you know if it wasn't true in their minds So I think that's what we have to remember here is that I, I saw a lot of people in comments of my reaction video going like well Why would they say Naomi's dead if she's not actually dead because I was like, oh, she's not dead And it's like they're not lying about it They just firmly believe that she is dead and I still think that there's some kind of circumstance that could have happened that um, They might think she's dead and she's really not so I mean, not everybody gets eaten by walkers right in front of you kind of thing, you know? It could have just seemed like you saw the swarms around them and you're assuming that they're dead when maybe they're not. Maybe something else happened after you left. I don't know. I'm just, I think that's where it's going. I really do. And I think that's where the rage that these three have, um, where they're getting that from is because they think that everyone is dead. Everyone else is dead. So, um... It made me really sad that um, neither Alicia nor Lucy said anything over Nick's grave. Um, they just kind of put him in the ground and they were done with it. I do think that they feel like they have to close off that emotion because they don't have time to grieve. They have to just keep moving forward. So I do get that. It just, it made me really sad because I felt like Nick deserved better. And the only one that did anything was Morgan who put a flower on his grave. So made me really sad. Uh, but we get the big reveal at the end of the episode. John recognizes um, Laura's bag that Luciana is holding and it has um, Laura's gun in it and come to find out when we get a flashback to Laura at the, or to Naomi at the infirmary, we put two and two together. Laura is Naomi. Whoa. <laughs> um, that was awesome. I loved that. I was not expecting that at all. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, that obviously affected John a lot. He's very sad because they told him he's, she's dead. And now he doesn't feel like, I feel like before he had a mission, you know, like he was determined to find her. And that was like the path that he was taking, you know. And um, I think in the apocalypse type situation here that they're in, it helps to have something to do. <laughs> so, you know, that was his goal. Like he was going to find her. He obviously cared for her. 
dare say he loved her I'm not sure not sure how long they actually spent together but he was you know he's very much like that's his goal is to go and find her and so now that he thinks she's dead it's kind of like where does he go now and I loved that like he kept trying originally to get Morgan to stay with him and Morgan was like no I'm better off alone I'm better off alone and in the end Morgan chooses to stay with him when he starts you know when when John starts to go off alone so I absolutely loved that part it was such a good episode oh my gosh and it just brought everything together again at the end when we when we discovered that Naomi is Laura so it just kind of left me wanting so much more and there's still so many unanswered questions um, to be honest I do not think they're gonna tell us what immediately happened after the dam and if they do it's gonna be in the second half we're getting pretty you know we're we don't have a ton of episodes left and I feel like right now we're so busy uncovering what happened to the diamond and what happened to Madison what happened to everybody that we don't have time to uncover what happened to them before they came to the diamond which is just very frustrating for me and I I'm just I'm still holding out hope that they do this eventually okay you guys thank you so much for watching that is it for my review um, I hope you guys enjoyed it if I missed something let me know I feel like I covered it all but I probably missed something since I wasn't following notes. Um, I loved this episode. I really did. I'm so excited for more now. I just feel like I really need them. I need them to give me some backstory here. And where the hell is Daniel? That's like, <laughs> I need like a sign. Like, where's Daniel? Like, we need to protest. Where's Daniel? We just have to know. Like, it's so frustrating. Um, okay, so that is it i hope you guys enjoyed it i think i said that already um give it a thumbs up if you did share it with your friends and i will see you next week for my reaction video have a great night bye